My name is Eden Full, and I'm the founder of Resicalis Technologies. Uh, I've developed a technology called the Sun Saluter. What is the Sun Saluter? Well, it's a low-cost, non-electrical rotator for your solar panel to generate up to 40% more electricity from each individual panel at every point during the day. I decided when I was three that I wanted to be a scientist. I don't think I fully understood what it meant at the time, but it was just sort of like, you know, everything was there. And um, my dad always encouraged me and told me that I could do anything that I wanted to do. It didn't matter if I was a woman. It didn't matter that, you know, I didn't have the scientific education that I, already, that I needed to do it, all of that. You know, anything was possible if I just worked hard and I was passionate about it. And so when I was nine, I built my first solar car. And so, you know, really simple thing, out of the box kind of kit that you just buy at the toy store. But that was like, you know, the key source of inspiration here is I can build something if, you know, given the right tools, given the right inspiration, I can build something really simple, really tangible, and it has an impact on someone else, right? There are other people around the world who don't have access to electricity, who need solar energy. And, you know, so it was taking something that was a really personal interest and then thinking about how I could apply it to other people. It's, you know, you don't have to be smart or a genius to do that. It's, it's just about having the passion and really trying to think outside the box. Why become a social entrepreneur? What does that mean? Um, well, Ashoka was founded in the 80s. Uh, Bill Drayton coined the term and Bill Drayton is one of my role models and I think I really learned more about social entrepreneurship before I learned about actual entrepreneurship, if there is even a difference, which I don't think there should be, because everything that an entrepreneur does should have a social impact. There shouldn't be this distinction between, you know, something that someone's just doing for profit and something that, um, you know, is done for social good. If you're doing something that generates money, it's assumed that people are using it. And if people are using it, you should be doing something that has a social impact. That's how we can really make, you know, the environment better. It's how we can improve people's lives. It's how we can make sure that quality of life in many different areas around the world is being improved. And so I don't think there's a distinction or there shouldn't be between entrepreneurship and social entrepreneurship. They should be the same thing. What is the footprint you'd like to leave? I just want to see people using my stuff, really. I, I want to invent something. I want to take it out into the world. And, you know, whether it's going to be a solar panel or it's some sort of consumer electronics device or it's something that I've invented, I think I just want it to you know, really make an impact in someone's life. So if I walk down the street and I see someone using something that I've invented, I think that's when I've been successful.